If you're like me, you have had a moment where you took a photo, you really loved the photo, and all of a sudden there's something on there that you don't like. It's very small. It's very insignificant that maybe even the regular viewer will not see, but you will see it and you'll be bothered by it. I'm gonna show you how to get rid of them. Welcome back to the Rebel Tech Channel. I'm Justin and in this video, we're going to be talking about the blemish remover in Affinity Photo. Very simple concept, very easy thing to do. But the thing is, there are little things you need to understand before you do it and little things to understand of how you do it because it's a very simple thing to do, but as far as like getting it done right, there's a little bit of finesse to it. So let's get into it. I have two pictures of me and one picture of a uh, iron bar at a boatyard. So let's go into the two pictures of me. And there's something here, and I picked these out because there are certain things that I would want to take out. You don't necessarily have to, but it's something that I would want to sometimes. This one, this first one here, I kind of like the way this looks with the scratches on my arms because it kind of gives it a little more rough and tough kind of look. But if I didn't want to have that, if I wanted to be a straight cut kind of model dude, not not even not even close. But if I really wanted to, I can go to this blemish re remover and it's a little band aid kind of fitting with the scratch. <laughs> I didn't really put that together. Now, if you've been to a like an affinity, uh, a Photoshop, a Lightroom, you, there's probably something like this in Photoshop in and in Lightroom. But you need to use the bracket keys for the up, make it bigger and make it smaller. So right now I'm gonna go zoom in with control uh, scroll and we're gonna get these scratches gone. Now, like I said, it's a very simple concept. All you gotta do is basically capture in the circle the area that you want to replace and it's a replace keep that in mind you're replacing it with something else it's not cleaning it it's just replacing it so there's this is where the finesse comes in so i click it and i drag it to an area where there is no scratch now of course it shows you the origin and the new place what you do is click the hand here to make sure that uh, you can't see that and it makes it easier to understand what you did. Now you can kind of see it like this, it's zoomed in, but if I zoom out, it's passable. It's not that bad, it's pretty good. Let's do it again with this one. I'm gonna make this smaller. Because the smaller you want it, the, you want to try to hone it in. Because the bigger you put it, the more obvious it's going to be. So this is right there. So you try to get the area in which you have similar, like a texture. So like, so like I got a hairy arm. So there's a lot of options. But I wouldn't choose the darker areas. You want to try to find the right exposed area and uh, similar, as close as you can. So there you go. There's an example of just replacing two things. Now, if I was to control Z that, and I'm gonna just do a quick example of how would it look if I did it wrong? So if I got this in the wrong area, so it's like too dark. See how it's like starting to get dark there? And then I do this. That doesn't look right. That looks awful. Or if I get it completely wrong, And I go blue. It looks weird. It doesn't give it the full blue, but it tries to blend it in as much as possible. Next, let's go to another example of me. Now in this picture, this is just me just being a dope. And there's this little like cut I got here. Same concept. I mostly use this for like stuff like cuts and bruises or whatever, because I don't know. I just tend to get myself in situations. So this is a tiny little thing. Tiny little thing. We're going to do this at that. You never know it was there. Magic. It's magic. Now, here is one more example. 
and one that I have used in the past, but I don't really use it that often because I like this stuff. But if you're a person that says, oh, I don't like the text on here. I'd rather it be a clean, bare metal. Let's try to take this Wolf N25 and maybe even the 95. I'm going to start with the Wolf and then I'm going to go to the 25. So let's go a little larger. I might have to make two passes on this one. But let's try to get the whole thing. See, so you kind of try to get that. Ooh, that's, that's tough because you're you really got that. You're trying to get right in the middle there. And you got to get outside of it. Otherwise, you can get the... Uh... See, if you're, you're in it, like a Venn diagram, it's going to show some of the other stuff. So you try to get it fully out of the circle. And there you go. It's off. So the next thing we're going to do, we're going to try and get this 25 out of there. Like that. And then if I'm lucky, let's see if I could get this 95 as well. The problem is that hole. So we're going to have to make a, a two pass on this one. So we'll do this to there. And then this, I'm going to make it a little smaller. This to there. And it looks pretty good. Here's the thing. You let me know if you notice, the, uh, notice any aberrations or any, like, uh, artifacts or whatever it is. But I do think it looks pretty good. And if you back it up a bit, obviously it's zoomed in, so... If you back it up a bit and someone's just watching and looking they're never gonna notice and that's all i got for you today in this video that is how you take out blemishes and use the blemish tool in affinity photo it really is an awesome tool very powerful for the uh program that you have here and of course there are plenty of other programs that have similar things maybe even programs that are free or whatever it is i don't know i've never used anything like uh kind of like the free options when it comes to that. I used Photoshop and I've used Affinity. I landed on Affinity because it's a one-time payment. I didn't really feel like doing the whole pay over time. But Affinity Photo and Affinity Designer, even Publisher, are great options for uh, people who just want to pay one time and that's it. With, a, with Photoshop and Lightroom, I'm sure there's plenty of things that I'm missing, but with this and the stuff that I'm doing, I really do enjoy it and I love it. I've never had an issue with it and there are updates uh, all the time. Uh, they really do help you out and their uh, plugins, their presets and everything like that goes through their website and it's easy to download, easy to put it in. I really do love them and this is not sponsored by them by the way. If Affinity Photo ever watches this, I think Serif or something like that. They're over in Europe I think. So uh, if they ever watch this, I really like your products and Maybe uh, we can converse. I don't know. I doubt it. You never know. Who knows? That all being said, thank you all for watching. Hope you all enjoyed it. If you liked the video, please hit the like button down below. It would be greatly appreciated. Helps this video, helps this channel, and really does uh, mean a lot to me. And if you like my vibe around here, things going on, the tech stuff, the editing, the tutorials, and things like that, please consider subscribing. It would be greatly appreciated. We just passed 1,000 subscribers, so just keep added to the community and if you're interested in the discord or some place where you could go where it's a safe place to talk about tech and everything like that and converse with people that are similar to your uh interests join the rebel tech discord it's right on the banner or in the about section of the rebel tech channel and if you want to ask me things questions and everything down in the comment section if you want to ask me more directly till the end of the year of 2021 mondays will be the stream day and i will address it later in the future for 2022 but you could ask me there all i ask is you be nice constructive all that stuff just don't be rude that's all i ask and until next time take care and i'll see you in the next video oh wait wait wait! i know what to do i need to blend oh i need to blend in like a good weave <laughs>